Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with Standard, Standard Goblin Piledriver. Now, we'll get some uh, the actual videos of this in action uh, when I can find some people to play me against Standard. The thing is, like, I can't queue this up in Standard right now, one, because it's not legal in Standard until the set comes out, and two, it's considering Goblin Piledriver as legacy right now. So I'm going to need someone to queue up with me, or not queue up, but uh, just challenge me uh, to a legacy match. And then I can play with their standard deck, and then I can play this. So, anywho, let's go ahead and sort these by converted mana cost. This is just kind of like a Tarka Sly with more of a goblin feel to it. So, we're going to play every goblin imaginable that is playable in standard right now. So, there's going to be Founder Street Denizen. There's going to be Frenzied Goblin. There is going to be the Goblin, I mean, the Dragon Fodder and the Hordling Outburst, as well as Goblin Rattle Master, which I think has the best synergy with Goblin Pile Driver and Mardu Scout, which also isn't too bad with Goblin Pile Driver, as you can dash it in and actually make the Goblin Pile Driver swing in for three as well. So on turn three, you can easily be attacking for six and have a Scout back that uh, can survive like an Anger of Gods or something. So this is going to be utilized around Targus Command because Hordling Outburst and Dragon Fodder and Goblin Rabmaster are so good with the Targus Command. We are going to run some burn spells in the form of two Wild Slashes, two Lightning Strikes, and then for Stoke the Flames, as it's Stoke the Flames is just the most powerful one in this deck. It's a way to tap down your goblins and not force them to a, into attack with Goblin Rattle Master. Now, I did that, think about going into black for the Blood the Bloodshin Rager, which says warrior creatures you control have to be blocked by two or more creatures. Because it gives your Goblin Rattle Master and your Pile Driver a little bit of pseudo evasion. But there just wasn't enough other warriors besides the Founder Sheet Denizen. You have like Berserkers... And just regular goblins and scouts and and whatnot. But I think it's worth considering that three of your your best goblins are warriors. In fact, you could actually go more of a warrior type strategy. And I still think that Goblin Pile Driver is good enough to consider putting in a warriors deck because again, you have Founder Sheet Denizen, Pile Driver, Rabble Master. That's a lot of warriors right there. You go into the three or the four man of the Brutal Horde Chief. There's another warrior and whatnot so that's a, another brew for another day but we're going to run a very very low land count one bloodstained mire uh four wood of foils because i think five fetch lands are the way to go we have a one of force we can go grab and then four temple of abandons and usually you just need the one green for the targus command we have the one trick of become a mens in here which is really good with delve giving some something plus six plus six is also extremely powerful and then the sideboard is just your typical targus side sideboard i like obelisk of erd and Hall of Triumph to come in against other decks that are running Scouring Sands and Bile Blight. Well, not really Bile Blight. It's more of the negative two, negative two, Drown and Sorrow that you'd bring in the Obelisk of Erd and Hall of Triumph. We have some Roasts for Siege Rhinos and Corsair Crew Fixes. We have some Impact Tremors against anything that's going to be running Drown and Sorrow and Scouring Sands. It's another way to get value out of everything. A Harness by Force against Abs and Midrange and Searing Bloods against um, any other aggressive deck you can kill their creature and do three damage to them twin bolt again for another any other aggressive decks and more wild slashes in the sideboard for any other like i said aggressive deck so pretty self-explanatory you've seen lists like this from me before uh we did there was a few other goblins i think spoiled out of, yeah it definitely was some out of m15 that we can we can think about putting in here i'll have to check the the spoilers again but this is something i can play Right now, I'm mean, going to have the cards for them. Uh, go check out my videos for cards I think you should speculate in. For Modern, there's a few of them that I really, really like. If we get some more Goblins, I could see myself going out of Hordling Outburst and Dragon Fodders. And they have a lot of synergy with Goblin Pile Driver and Atargus Command. But, if we get like a Goblin Lord at 3, I think it is worth the consideration going into all creatures. And then going into the... Uh, collected Company. Collected Company is an insanely powerful card. It's one of the most powerful cards that they've printed in a long, long time. And it has pretty good synergy with Goblin Rattle Master. So if there's any other big goblins, like I said, a Goblin Lord, uh, like the Goblin Chieftain or the Goblin King or anything like that that is, is spoiled or printed in M15, we definitely do need to consider running uh running that strategy over the token based strategy or you could still go a mix other than we're sitting at 20 creatures right now it'd be a bit hard uh to get up to the amount of count you need with going up to like 22 23 lands and for to get consistently out for collect the company i guess maybe you could just take out the stoke the flames lightning strikes and wild slashes that frees up eight slots 28 creatures you could easily justify 
running with collected company, but then we'd have to find room for collected company, which might mean a few Atarka's commands go to the sideboard or something like that. But I'm going to, if I can get someone to, I'm going to go play Friday Night Magic, but after that, I'll be home all tomorrow. If I can get one of my fans or if I can get Morton or um, Edward from Tudor's Library to test some standard matches with me, we will show some gameplay of the Goblin Piledriver. We have some... Uh, they'll probably already be up before I load this one. Have some gameplay with Goblin Pile Driver in Modern. I think the card is just so amazing in Modern. I don't think that it will get a ban or anything, but I mean, it, it's a pretty powerful card as a two drop in, a, in the right deck. So definitely go and check those matches out um, against Morton. And yeah, looking forward to this. I think this is a, this is a great, great addition. I'm, I'm loving to see that finally we have a goblin tribal that is worth it justifying going into goblin. Lots of synergy, and and yep. I will let you guys know as soon as I got the gameplay videos up. This is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.